How could he do this to me? These are the words that I hear far too often. So much hurt, so much pain, so many unanswered questions. You want to know why? You've tried to ask him. You've tried to put your questions into words that he could respond to. But he keeps saying the same thing that doesn't make any sense to you. Or he doesn't say anything at all. The silence is deafening. You're not ready to give up. You're not ready to just walk away. No matter how much his words, his actions make it clear that you should. You can't eat. You can't sleep. You can't do anything except think about him. And what you should have done, could have done, would have done differently, you would do in a heartbeat if you only knew what it was. If you know why, you can fix it. If you can understand the reason, you have a chance at undoing what's already been done. If you can finally figure out what's underneath, there's hope. And if there's one thing you live for, it's hope. It's what sets you apart from all the rest. It's why he can honestly say he's never been with anyone else quite like you. It's why he stayed as long as he did. It's why he tried to stay as long as he could. It's why none of the answers you hear resonate with you because you know, even if no one else does, you know. I've been studying men like this for 20 years. First, because of my very personal interest in finding out why. And then professionally, when I discovered I wasn't the only one who wanted, no, needed to know. Men of all ages, all descriptions, all walks of life from all over the globe, and in all my wanderings and wanderings to find the answers, one thing began to clearly stand out above the rest. He needs you to stop asking him why. Why does he need this? Because he can't tell you, beautiful. Really, he can't. He doesn't even know the answer himself. You've got to figure this one out for yourself if you want to have a chance at turning things around. Your answers aren't going to come from him. He doesn't know because he's not the one motivated to find out. And he's not motivated to find out because he's never been told he needs to. He's not wired to communicate like you and I are. He's not programmed to do all the overthinking and soul searching that we do. In fact, he's been told the opposite his entire life. All he has to do, he's been told, is to be strong, stand up tall, be a man, be macho, and all these other boys club messages he's been told to do. He doesn't know what to do when you cry. He doesn't know what to do when you start telling him about your feelings. All he's been programmed to do is to run, get out of there as fast as he can. That's why he doesn't know and why he's not motivated to know. And that's why you're here. You see what it could be. You know what it has the potential to be. And with everything you've got, you're going to see this one through, even if you're the only one willing to do the work. This, this is what we do so well because he's worth it to you. I know, I get it. You don't have to explain it to me because I've been on the other side of the story more times than I can even remember. It's the painful truth that until we're done, we're never anything but done. Feel the power of recognizing your own truth, the kind of truth that doesn't just accept but digs deeper so you can understand and then you know what you need to do for you. Maybe you'll walk away, maybe you'll stay, but if you do, it'll be on your own terms this time. Your options become limitless when you understand the whole story behind the story, your story. Yes, he's going to do what he needs to do for him, even if he doesn't know why. And yes, you're going to do what you need to do for you because you know why. And that, that is what he needs from you.